you're watching Trading Day. I'm Amber Canwar. Our trending trade right now is Coinbase, the stock on the rise after catching an upgrade from an analyst at Oppenheimer who says he thinks Coinbase could win its lawsuit against the SEC in the United States and that management is stronger than the markets think. For some perspective, let's bring in the analyst, Al Owen Lau, from Oppenheimer to discuss his upgrade. And Owen, I've gone through your... Um, upgrade of this, you highlight five catalysts for Coinbase, and none of them have to do with Bitcoin prices going higher. <laughs> yeah, so first of all, thank you for having me. So yeah, we, we highlighted some uh, catalysts, but let me highlight three key ones. The first one you, you have already already mentioned, which is our thesis is uh, Coinbase can win the SEC lawsuit, or there's a good chance that the judge would even dismiss all or part of the complaint. The second point is about um, improving fundamentals or uh, improving earnings going into the fourth quarter earnings. We believe there's a good chance that Coinbase can print the first positive gap ETS um, in this quarter since the fourth quarter of 2021. The final point is we think Coinbase fundamentals are improving going into 2024 and 2025. The stock was down 35% since, since, since December 28th, so we think this is a good entry point. That's why we are paid the stock. You mentioned, let's take some of these in, in pieces. The SEC lawsuit, um, which maybe people forgot about because of the hype around Bitcoin uh, ETFs. You've actually been going right to the court, listening to the yeah. arguments, and that's informing your view. Yeah, exactly. So we went to the pre-motion um, argument last year, I think uh, last July. We also went to the oral argument last week on January uh, 17th. So I listened to the argument from the SEC. I listened to the argument from Coinbase. I also listened to the comments and questions from the judge. That's why we, we believe that there's a chance that the judge would even dismiss this case. I guess two highlights here. Number one, the SEC even acknowledged that the token itself is not security. The second point is, I, I think the judge expressed some concern that if the SEC were to win this lawsuit, there are some other things like collectibles, like Beanie, ba uh, Beanie Babies and, and commodities mm -hmm. could be classified as security. So that's why there's a uh, chance that I think Coinbase can win this argument. And, and do you think that's meaningful for the stock? I think so, because uh, when we talk to investors, regulatory overhang has been kind of a no-no for this stock. So if they can win this argument or the judge dismiss this uh, case, I think the um, that can attract new investors in U.S. coming back to the stock, coming back to the story. One thing I'm still trying to get my head around is what ultimately do all of these spot ETF, Bitcoin ETFs, mean for Coinbase? And I, the consensus has been that they'll be fine um, because, you know, they, they're acting as a custodian for some of them. So they're kind of in the game. But longer term, I mean, as this stuff goes through more traditional finance channels, doesn't it ultimately bear that Coinbase will lose market share? I think, so from my opinion, is this is a net positive mm. for Coinbase because the spot Bitcoin ETF, it's only one use case, which is the speculation on Bitcoin price. If you go to Coinbase, you can engage with 240 other tokens. You can also engage with DeFi and Web3 and some other use cases. So for me, yes, maybe some users may go to spot Bitcoin ETF because of that speculation, but I think a vast majority of customers would like to stay with Coinbase to do some other stuff other than just pure Bitcoin speculation. So longer term, I know we may go to the fee compression path, but I think longer term, I look at fundamentals, I look at revenue, the top line, how would top line change, grow, and also bottom line grow. I think valuation will be based on a revenue instead of the, the fee rate longer term. Now, you ha you are mentioning profitability, and I did I did say, like, a lot of your note is not saying you think Bitcoin's going to X amount of price, but I ha how much of what you see happening with the business and the bottom line is predicated on Bitcoin prices either staying where they are or going higher? The beauty about the exchange model is if Bitcoin goes up, people trade. Coinbase generate revenue. If Bitcoins go down, people trade. Coinbase also generate revenue. So I think that's the beauty of an exchange. That's the beauty of this business model. 
I, I would say there are multiple catalysts coming up to support Bitcoin price because at the end of the day, high, higher Bitcoin price means Coinbase can generate more revenue, like relatively speaking. The two catalysts are uh, Bitcoin halving and also rate cut. So I think those two are catalysts to support Bitcoin price. But uh, but that's you know that's w- w- what I can say about Bitcoin.